what the heck is this P in the width and height fields? Oh, and the column gutter field and the, and the margins. What, what is 51 P0? So P stands for pica. Pica is a measurement system. It goes back a long way. Any number before the P is the pica value. Pica measurement. Anything after the P is in points, which is the subunit of pica. Pica and points. Centimeters, millimeters. Get it? So points are, in this case, the zero, and that's the same measurement as type size, points. There are 12 points in a pica, six pica per inch, ergo 72 points per inch. And that's all well and good if you're fine working in pica and points. If you are not, that's easily changeable. Let's cancel this. You want to do this with all documents closed. This is important. You do not want any InDesign documents open if you want to change the measurement system away from pica globally for all of your new documents. If you change this setting with a document open, it only changes it for that one document. If you change it with all documents closed, it changes it for every new document you create. So go to Preferences on the Mac, that's under the InDesign CC menu. On Windows, it's the bottom of the Edit menu near Keyboard Shortcuts and Menus. So go to Preferences, Units and Increments, and then here are the measurement system settings. Origin. Origin is where is the zero point. Do you want it to be top left corner of a page, of the spread, of the spine, lined up on the spine between pages? That's what you choose there. Here, you can choose the horizontal and vertical measurements separately. Choose what you're comfortable with. Your choices are points. You can do everything in points, just like you do with type. You can use pica, which is the default. Inches, which uses fractions, or inches decimal, which doesn't use fractions. Millimeters, centimeters, ciceros, agates, pixels, if you're using InDesign primarily for digital design work. Or if you are a total design geek, choose custom and then choose how many points per unit you want to have. So again, 12 points per pica, 72 points per inch. How many points do you want in your custom measurement unit? Personally, I like working in inches decimal, even though I've spent a lot of years working in pica. I'm just more comfortable with inches decimal. So I'm going to choose that. And then I hit OK. Now, everything I do after this point, let's go back to new document, uses the inch measurements. How cool is that? Everything. 